What is up you guys and welcome back to Ungeek. Today we have another mm. unboxing of a new uh, laptop but this time from Lenovo. Mm. It's so, uh, it's been a while, no? I mean, I, th I think this is the first time we've, we're ever going to do an unboxing video mm. for Lenovo. Yeah, so, I think so. Yeah. So it's kind of special. It's kind or, of well, special. at least for us. For us, yeah. We have yeah, yeah, we other do, we do, Lenovo yeah. stuff yes. as well. But at so, least for the video side, mm. medyo kakaiba. <laughs> well, I'm kind of excited though. So from the looks of it, yeah. this seems like a standard Lenovo, Lenovo. idea pad. Yeah. Well, yeah. it is. It is an idea but pad. Okay. it's a gaming laptop. Okay, just to give you an idea, um, you know, Lenovo has also their gaming light called mm. Legion. So this is a gaming laptop, but it's not Legion branded. So I guess it's almost the same as um, like with Asus, the body Asus has like their ROG and then they also have their uh, Acer gaming, has their... Predator. Uh, Acer also has their Predator line. I think they have the Nitro. Which ah, is yeah. Lower than the... Not exactly a Predator. A Predator, I know. Lenovo has this one, an ah, idea okay. pad gaming. So this is like their um, consumer gaming laptop. Mm, right? At least it's still a gaming laptop because yes. for us. So we're all about games. Come mm. on, we're all we we play games all the time. I mean, we work using a laptop, but yeah, it's for games. Di nagtay na gatrabaho, the joke. Shh, I guess they they should know that. They should know that. Okay. So anyway, without further ado, we'd like to. Uh, unboxes for you guys and give you our quick thoughts and just a quick snippet of what this uh, stuff is. Okay, so, uh, I remember Lenovo had a big launch event mm. where they showcased a lot of their laptops. I think right. I saw this one. Oh, this I'm is not one of them. Exactly sure because there were a lot. Okay, like, okay, okay. There were yogas, okay. idea pads, okay. uh, the higher end Legion ones. Okay. And this one. Oh, it's major handy. Siya. I think it's as big as the, the box. Hindi pala. So, yeah, okay. inside the box. Yeah, what else is inside the, the box? Well, you have this just okay, the power, power cord. Brick. Yeah, power that, brick. That big. Okay. Power brick. Okay. Uh, and then the cord is here as well. Now, um huh, fairly slim box. This is interesting. USB yung ano yun. Really? Yeah, see. So well, where it's not the USB. What is it? It's a square-ish. I uh, guess it's plug? a proprietary plug 2. Ah, to the ano, okay. Okay, so that's your, I know that's your, mm, which is kind of different. Oh, okay. Actually, it's uh, something around. It's there. something around. Yeah, I thought I thought it was USB now, but I mean it's yellow, so I naturally okay. gravitated towards so, it. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait, it's blue. Actually, it's good. It actually kind of oh, looks like the box. Okay, you can't see it. I haven't opened it, but blue renew vents. Ah, okay. So that's their proprietary color. Parang that's, that's their color. That's I their think color. the Legion color is blue as well. Eh? Oh, is it? So and okay. Oh, oh, it's also blue inside. Okay. Wow. This is kind of cute. This is nice. This is really nice. Pogi, oh. You know what? I, I like the design. I like the design. It's very, very simple. It's very, very minimalistic. Um, even here, like the brush metal treatment that they have over here at the plate, it contrasts well with the the blue Lenovo logo. Mm, it, it pops even if it's yeah. just. Yeah. Uh, small logo. Yep, yep, exactly. So, vents are blue. Uh, the keyboard is yeah. blue. Yeah. There's like a blue hue on the keyboard as well. Um, and it's very, very simple. Um, it has a full size keyboard. You have the numpad here at the side. For a small laptop. And this is what I'm saying, the uh, pattern before. Uh, example for 15.6 size laptops, you'd be hard pressed to find like a full size keyboard. And if even if they do, sometimes the spacing of the keys kind of make it harder for mm. you to type. But at I think it's spaced really, really well. I, mm. you know, I haven't really tried it out. But from the looks of it, I don't think you're gonna have mispress here uh, yeah. every now and then. Okay, so what else is here? Let's fairly talk about the light. Okay. Uh, fairly slim. Fairly slim. Want to so, check the I.O. port? I.O. At this side, there's... None. None. Just the Kensington lock. Alright. On the other tayo. side, we have a Type A. Uh -huh. This is an Ethernet port. Yep. HDMI. Uh -huh. Two more Type A. No, this is not a Type A. Actually. Oh, so it's no, no, the that's, power. that's a power. It okay. does look like a USB See, port. I told you. So, combo jack, mm -hmm. Type C, and mm -hmm. two Type A. So, mm. Not as much. Not as much. But it's slim and it's uh, an entry level gaming laptop. Is it light? So, yeah, it is. Oh, it is. It's fairly light, huh? Like, not the lightest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not an ultra book. It's fairly portable yeah. still. Yeah. Like, for a gaming laptop. Mm. Now, display wise, this is a, 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 a 15.6 inch yeah. with fairly slim. So yeah, it's just a bit at the top yeah. and at the bottom. But at least you get a webcam. You have a web webcam, yeah. Some right. laptops either put the webcams down here or, or they, have none at all. Down, yeah, they, they really take it out. Internals, um, you have an 
Intel Core i5, a 9th gen. Okay, there's a 9th gen Core i5. i5. Okay. And a GTX 1650. 1650, okay. So it's a little bit uh, less powerful than your 1660 uh, and 6060 Ti. So for the past few laptops that mm -hmm. we've tried, mm -hmm. uh, I think they have 1660s. Yeah. Or they have either a 1660 Ti yeah. or a or 1660 Ti Max-Q yeah. Max yeah. or a 1660. Yeah. So that line, we're yeah. ve very much familiar with yeah. both for laptops yeah. and for uh, actual, the actual card, the actual unit. PC-sized yeah. yeah. card. Mm. But the 1650, I haven't actually had the chance much to try it. experience yeah. with it. Ako din. Actually, this is the first time I'm, I'm opening a 1650 uh, powered uh, device. I'm hoping it can still run AAA games well I because hope, I'm pretty sure this can I run so. esports titles. Now, this also has 8 gigs of RAM mm -hmm. and a 1 terabyte hard drive. Okay. Uh, and aside from that, your screen is a full HD mm. IPS. It's an IPS. It's an IPS. Or IPS. is it an IPS level? Because some opt for IPS level. Well, ang well we'll see. It's IPS. Mm. I mean, well. But we'll see. Usually, when it says IPS level, it's going to or almost like, IPS. Yeah, it's going to be much better than a TN panel for yeah. uh, video watching yeah. for, games, for games, better viewing angles. Yeah. Let's try to boot this up. Let's see if it has power or oh, it has Ooh. juice. Okay. Well, doesn't have RGB. No, but have... it's blue. okay. It's okay. I like the blue. Yeah, it's it's um it's pleasing to the eye. I guess it's. It's more calming. <laughs> well, it's still a fairly gaming color, but it's not your red. Yeah, yeah, the black yeah, and red. Yeah, or... yeah. which is the the, the the typical gaming color, right? Uh, yeah. So it's booting up. It's taking quite some time. I think this is where um, an SSD would really, really help. Yeah, because it only has a hard drive. Oh, it only has so a hard drive. It's not that fast. So I'm hoping you can actually uh, put like a. Okay, let's see if you can open this up. I'm not exactly sure. It's not as easy to open up as some other laptops, some laptops that has like a panel where you yeah, can actually like easily, here. yeah. But uh, I guess you can. I'm just hoping that if you do that, uh, it doesn't void the warranty. I, I don't know, Lenovo. So. But that's something to think about, Lenovo, for the next time. If you have a next iteration, uh, an easy uh, way to upgrade some of the internals mm. would really, really help. No, especially with this, you already have like an i5, the 9th gen, a fairly decent uh, GPU, 1650. Um, and this could really um, benefit with an upgrade of RAM and an upgrade of uh, an additional SSD. I guess. Eight gigs of RAM. I, again, we usually prefer sixteen, but yeah. it, of course, this is an entry-level gaming yeah. laptop. Well, we've also tried, naman, opening uh, entry-level laptops before that has like four, mm. diba? Uh, and we always recommend to upgrade the RAM. Yes. So again, it's taking a while. It hasn't booted up yet. I mean. Since As we... expected, it's a hard drive. All right. The past few laptops we've tried all had SSDs. All had SSDs. But they all had really high prices. That's or true. Rather high prices. Yeah. How much does this cost? So this apparently the i5 version costs less than fifty thousand pesos. Oh. So which is pretty competitive. Mm. Um, particularly for this segment, diba? Um, it's a gaming laptop. It's forty nine 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 five. So it's five pesos difference. Mm. Less than enough. Uh, it's almost 50,000. But uh, considering what it has, it's fairly okay. I want to try this one too. We, you will be the repository for all yeah. laptops. <laughs> because the previous laptops I've tried, I was interested in how they'll hold up like build quality wise mm, yeah. or if they can run games. This one, I'm interested because of the price. If it's worth or... Is this an aluminum aluminum? Chassis? I'm not sure. Might be polycarb, but... Well, this, is, this is definitely aluminum because it's mm. But uh, the build actually is pretty good. I mean, fine. The, the bottom part is polycarb, definitely. But this feels like a, a solid steel. Also, while you were fundling <laughs> okay. the, the finish, yeah. I was trying. I'm trying out the keyboard, like right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's not as mushy as I'd expected. Ah, okay. It has a ha good feedback. Ha has has good give. Yeah, okay. Has good feedback. Like right. travel, of course, is not that much. Okay, but yeah. Not bad feedback. Usually, gaming laptops are still mushy, or mm. they still feel a bit mushy since mm -hmm. they're membrane keyboards. Yeah. But this one, for how slim it is, mm. pretty nice. Yeah. But aside from that, if I assume that it is easily upgradable, I think it's a pretty nice deal mm. if it holds up. Okay, I see. Of course, I we it. still have to 
uh, check battery life if you're planning to use this for work. For yeah. Because it does look like a work laptop. It is. I mean, it does. It doesn't look it like does. a gaming laptop at all. Yun nga, diba? Which is great because it's, it's like a discreet gaming laptop. Or uh, a low-key gaming laptop. I'm more of a fan of those discreet looking mm. gaming laptops over the really loud, the really loud one. Ones. Why? You don't like being labeled as a gamer? How dare you, sir? Oh. How dare you? <laughs> I'm just not a fan of the look. Like, I don't care what people... <laughs> I'm just personally not a fan of the look. Oh, it's, too mu- it's too busy. Alright. Well, this is actually... Oh, ooh, see? It's finally here. Finally! Finally booted up, yo. We can Boop. finally set it up. After. Yes, so we'll set it. We'll set this up after, and then we'll give you our first impressions, uh, and hopefully a review as well in the next coming days or weeks. Yeah, so this is just again a really quick look at the Lenovo L340 gaming laptop, the IdeaPad L340 gaming laptop from uh, Lenovo. Let me ask you this mm. before we end. Okay. Do you also like the blue? <laughs> do you like the color? Ah, okay. Because I do. Okay, okay, okay. That's 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 good. Cause um, majority of our gaming laptops that we receive all have like their red. red hue, right? It's either red or you go full RGB. Mm. So like, yeah, the, is the blue hue working for you? So let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, and again, uh, give this video a like if you like it. Uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well, so you know when we come up with a new video. And yeah, thank you, Nico, for uh, helping me out with this again. Uh, do check us out on ungeek.ph and do check us out on Facebook. Uh, we're there almost every day. We're posting a lot of stuff. And you'll see the review there. And you'll see the soon. review there soon as well. And with that, guys, hope you have a really wonderful week ahead of you. My name is Colin. Nico, thank you so much. And keep on gaming, guys. Bye. I'll see you next time.